Hi, this is an ongoing series for the tying belt on a J-Series Honda V6. Got the uh, two upper covers off, tying belt covers. I went ahead and marked them with, um, oh, what is it, nail polish. Marked that one with nail polish as well. I just marked uh, where his top dead center is. You'll see when you get in there, there's a mark on the sprocket, and then there's a mark on the back cover right there. Same on the back, too. Now I got to get the, uh, let me show you this real quick. So I took the, uh, I marked the bottom as well in two different spots. And when I get the belt off, I'm just going to transfer over the marks to the new belt. And then that way I make sure that, that the uh, timing is set up 100%. The crankshaft pulley came off. You just grab it and pull it straight off. You don't need a tool or anything to get it off. It just comes straight off. The real bear here has been getting this side motor mount off. So there's three 14 millimeter bolts to hold it on. There's one. There's one up front, sorry for the poor lighting, and then there's one right down there as well. And that's not it, but you'll see it. I did not remove the computer to get this out, but th this, I know this tiny belt has never been done because these bolts were seized in there. I had to get a uh, 14 millimeter short socket with a 3 8 wobble with a 3 8 extension to a 3 8 half inch um, adapter to a half inch breaker bar to get this thing loose. I even tried impacts on this thing, nothing, nothing worked. On all three bolts too, so it was a hassle, man. I've been dealing with this for about an hour and a half. These, sh these should come out very easily, but for whatever reason, like I said, this belt has never been done, so they came out hard. So once I get the motor mount out, I'll get this bracket loose, it's right there. It goes between the motor mount and the engine. It attaches to the engine block. There's one of the bolts. There's three 17 millimeter bolts down there. But one thing you want to do before you take off this motor mount. So right there, I have the jack. I have a jack, I should say. That is, it's not pushing up on the oil pan. It's just kind of sitting there. So it's basically a pillow for the oil pan because when you take off that motor mount, the engine is going to want to drop. So I have a jack stand there holding up the car and then I have a floor jack holding up the oil pan you're not putting pressure on it you're not lifting the car up from the oil pan all you're doing is having the oil pan rest its head so you're just gonna put it right up there and then stop as soon as it, as soon as it touches the oil pan just stop don't push it up any further like I said you just want it there in place so that it doesn't drop too much when you take off the side motor mount got the lower time belt cover off as well there's one of the bolts Let's keep moving. Take off the motor mount, the side bracket, and I'll have access to the Italian belt and all the all the gravy. <laughs> There's a bolt right there. You can see it in the center of your, in the center of your screen. The way I'm going to get that out is with a magnetic pickup tool, and the way I'm going to install it is with a magnetic pickup tool as well. I'm not going to remove the computer. I've seen a video out there on a guy doing a pilot and he took off the computer. I just think that's that's work that you don't need to do. And then also you run the risk of, well, I always think you run the risk of shorting out the computer. But I might get some hate comments about that. I know I'm kind of contradicting myself here. But if you do, do decide to remove the computer just for ease of use or ease of getting to these bolts, make sure you disconnect the battery, the negative battery terminal, the negative battery cable. And make sure you have the code to your radio because you'll lose access to your radio as well. All right, let's keep going.